And so is that what informed the choice to then do it in, in Tamale? Was that always going to be the location of the cookathon? It was a priority to do it in Tamale. Mm. I wouldn't be, I, I grew up from Tamale. I saw it all. I saw everything. It, were you surprised was, that people were asking you to come down south? Believe me, it was my first demor de de demoralizing moment. Really? To be asked to leave Tamale and do this in Accra. Why and for what? Mm. Aren't we all Ghanaians? Did you take that as an insult? In as much as you feel that uh, the resources, the support, would always come from the national, that is Accra. For the first time, if you go back to watching the videos mm. that transpired at the Cookathon, aren't you amazed? Blown away. And I didn't understand why people were calling for the Cookathon to be brought down south because I know the people of Tamale. So I took the positive and the negative, and the negative. Out of it. It was a statement and a moment that dared our people to support their own. Mm. So it was for my good. Believe me, just maybe if not for that statement, some people will sit aloof and watch me. But it was a daring moment for them. Having other regions in the central telling them that, oh, we know you. You would allow the little girl to have faith. You mm. would not support her. It was now a challenge for them. Mm. To throw their so, weights behind so, you. Uh, yes. Mm. I strongly believe it manifested to the fact that uh, just maybe some people didn't even want to support. But they, they, they came out. Did you see the grassroots? Mm. Some people slept there with their mats with me. That's right. Through it all. Mm. The community spirit was something to behold. I know the people of Tamale have a lot of pride in where they come from. And that was manifested through the beautiful dance displays, the people that came out. I mean, it sends goosebumps down your spine. And you can see some of the scenes there. If you're watching us on Facebook, uh, Shafila in action. So